why are y'all having this dialogue, bro? Stop it, bro. Like, it's scaring me. Like, y'all already know what's going to happen, bro. Some oh! What's good, y'all? It is day three of the JoJo Marathon. As y'all can see, my face tired. Y'all said Matt inconsistent? You said Matt inconsistent? Get out of here, boy. You know what I'm saying? We might drop in some JoJo heat every single day for a week. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's only day three, so I'm, I'm talking a little too high and mighty for, you know what I'm saying, where I am right now. But it is very late right now, bro. It's actually one in the morning. That's why I'm not trying to be too loud. But I appreciate everybody that's been supporting. First of all, you guys hit, you guys destroyed the light goal for this. So I do want to say thanks. They're here watching, you know, and they does another thanks per usual. I just realized for Patreon, YouTube is catching up to Patreon, right? So I actually have to post my videos a lot faster on Patreon than I was planning to. So I'd expect more part six JoJo vids on Patreon. Link in the description down below. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Y'all probably think I'm smacked or something, bro. Look, not gonna hold y'all. Let's get into the video. Appreciate y'all. Uh, he put in the. Uh, is he about to really put in the work? All right, hey, hey, my fault, Porter Reef. Hey, do you think, bro? Oh, uh, that's kind of, it looked kind of tough though. I'm not going to lie. What the heck is that? He got a new fit and everything. Yeah, he has the arrow on his neck. How do you get that? Huh? What is going on? Huh? This don't, it got sleeping gas? What's going on? Hey, nah, this, this drummer was in his bag, boy. That Mista fight was so fire, bro. Mista's fights are all the best fights, bro. I'm not gonna lie. He has the best fights in the series. Nah, I like I liked they did the little, uh, oh, wow, when it shows him with the new form. Yo, that's fire. Uh, and now it says he has a new form. Oh, snap. Dog, look. Oh, everybody knocked out in the area. At least the baby safe. What the heck? You know. And did he like drop the the arrow near Girono or something? Huh? The body switch. I was like, I was like, why the hell is Jorno acting like that? What the heck? And I was like, why is Mister not near his gun? Yo, did they did they body swap? Yeah, Mister's like, bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you're starting to realize it now. Whoa, whoa! I thought he was gonna do something else. Relax. Did he switch everybody's body? So is someone Diavolo? What I'm confused about, right? If this is, I'm. I thought this was gonna be Trish, but if Trish is looking at her own her own body, wouldn't she just wouldn't it snap and she figure out like something's wrong? So who's this? Oh, that's Narancha. Oh, I totally forgot about Narancha. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm sorry. That was funny. Oh, so you guys still have your stand powers. I guess, the, yeah, the powers are more so his soul, not body, right? Dang, yeah, he didn't get to tell anybody anything. This Martin really got worked before they could reach him. Dang. Uh, whoa, that's actually wild as heck. Where's Diavolo, bro? Bucciarati had to have switched with Diavolo, bro. They said they can't sense his soul because he's asleep, right? 
And technically, what's the name? Bushiradi is like dead, so. Like his body at least is dead. Because he disappeared. Watch him come with like Diavolo's body and it be Bushiradi, bruh. What I'm about to explain to you is hope. You about to tell him a whole story, bruh? Hold up. I don't know how old that arrow is. But I'm starting to understand what the person who created was thinking. Th then let me know, bro. Like, I'm trying to figure out, too. How are we about to beat the Evolo? Dang. That's wild. So if Diavolo gets that jump, he's literally just going to be able to destroy everybody, bro. But it definitely exists. Hey, the, hey, you putting that on, you know what I'm saying, couple of change, bro. What if it doesn't? This is life or death right now, bro. I mean, I guess they don't have anything to lose either, right? So, might as well. Intrigued with your idea. Javelo and this kid were like a well coordinated. So, there's two of them? Or were a duo? He said a duo. I thought it was just. The way they were shown is looked like a dual personality type of thing. Why was he all the way over there for? Yeah, that has to be Butcherati. If it's Bushirati, I would tell them, yo, shoot me, bro. Yeah, Zipperman. That's all I was about to say. It's obviously Bushirati, bro, which means they both switch. Why he do that, though? Isn't that good that they swap bodies? And why is he so out of the freaking thing? Like, why is he so far away? What happened to Bushirati? There's so many questions, bro. That was the information spill the episode, bro. Yeah, that makes sense. So what's his name is basically like bopped right now. But they should take this opportunity to just bop um Diavolo it while Butcherati is in his body. So they shouldn't take the arrow away from him. That's so weird. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's some other requirements to it or something. I could be missing something. But it's fire. That means these next couple episodes are about to be crazy, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So I guess it's I guess it's not really much spoilers then because I guess he stabs his stand and not himself. Why does he need the arrow to upgrade himself though? What's his name? Koichi upgraded his stand just by a stronger resolve itself. God, you're safe. Little do you know, man, this man is dead. What? Why is it making a stand attack him? Huh? Is making the stands go crazy itself? I was making other stands go berserk too. What the heck? Look at his little baby kicks, bro. I ain't doing nothing. But then how do you stop it? Like, if anytime you get close to it, your stand just goes berserk. Like, y'all just gonna get attacked. So, would you have to grab the arrow with the stand itself? That is so creepy, bro. A baby patting a, a mom like, it's okay, don't worry, like, bro. But you're gonna get hurt. I'm already dead, don't worry, bro. Like, that, nah, that, that ball drop is gonna be crazy. Yeah, damn, they're not trying to tell the team. I'm not kind of trying to discombobulate anybody. Oh, oh, he has blood. What the heck? Y'all are celebrating way too early, bro. It, it, look at this. What's going on? What if he just got snatched, bro? Just die. This is episode 35. If I ever see Fugo again, maybe I wouldn't mind calling him, calling me dumb. Yeah, Fugo did. Damn. This is hurting me. Why are y'all having this dialogue, bro? Stop it, man. Like, it's scaring me. Like, y'all already know what's going to happen, bro. Someone, y'all, I don't know if someone's going to die or not. Would there be a purpose in anybody dying right now? No. Not to, not to progress the story, at least. Bruh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. He doesn't like the number four and one. Bruh. Wait, nah, hold up. This death 
kind of hit way harder. Oh, damn. That caught me off guard. Dang, not in the ranch. No wonder they give him that stupid speech, bro. It's always them stupid speeches, bro. They got me, though. They got me, though. That drone was fire. Damn. Not him dying, but y'all know what I mean, right? Dang. In the pole like that, they got him gruesome, too. Already gone. Damn. This music is fire, too. Damn, bro. They really did my boy like that. Nah, I loved how he, like, developed at the turning point, bro. I was like, nah, I got to make the decision for myself. I got to move forward, bro. And then they kill him off. Oh man, ew! Everybody's just just getting clapped and gone, bro. That's so s Abak Abakio, Abusharadi, Narantra. Like, dang, they can hella people. Wow, the airplane, Fugo. Where are you, bro? You know what? You're right. You didn't. You didn't have to. You made the smart decision. The smart decision was to uh, let your friends go by themselves. It's inconceivable. Yeah, nah, bro. Damn, they really clap, man. The two of them. The souls. I didn't even think of that. He Since he's basically a double and two personalities, he has two, quote unquote, two souls. I, I like how they're trying to explain psychology to me. Hey, bro. I failed uh, AP Psych, bro. No, I didn't. I actually did pretty good. I'm lying, bro. But then, if that's the case, wouldn't Butchirati be sharing a body with somebody else, too? So, yeah, that's smart. You know what I'm saying? I mean, usually you'll want to take the healer out, but... This dude just, where is the, where is he going? Like, where is his stand going, bro? This man is just walking in the middle. But, I understand. Oh, that's fire. Okay, that's fire right there. With the plants, kind of give him like a burial thing. Okay. I like that. I like that. I was about to say, that speech, I was like, so no, no one can ever hurt you again. This dude's dead. Bro. Come on, bro. He's about to pick them one by one, bro. Could you imagine the whole team gets destroyed, bro, and they leave Jarno alive? You know how mad I would be at an ending like that? That would be a disgusting ending, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh! He shot a hole in his mouth and then put the... Th You're crazy. Is he going to try and touch the Jonah and then his? That is so weird, bro. You try to touch it with something, it'll come flying back to it. Oh, bro. The thing is, bro, they're not even fighting the boss yet, bro. What the heck? Yo, you seen him running? Hold on. You seen him in the background running, bro? He said Mista, but it's going to be, what's his name? If Mista got a new part of the stand, that would be tough, but he is running towards He is literally running towards it because he knows Mista is not about to beat this. Did you see him? He booking it, boy. He said, you know that? I forgot what that, Jonathan. I don't even remember. Whatever. Damn, what the heck? We're not even finding the boss yet, and we got, like, boss. we have to fight Paul Narif's stand. Narancha died. Dang, how's this gonna end? Bro, is someone else gonna die, bro? Upsetting a little bit. Dang, Narancha. Nah, I'm, I, at least I'm happy Mr. didn't die. I don't know, I don't know. Dang, how's Fugo gonna feel about this? Man, bump Fugo, bro. Man, left us. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, comment, share, do you got it. I'm gonna see y'all next one. Deuce.